How can you find the order of a reaction given only a table of data, time and the concentration of the reactant over time? Obviously, as time goes on, reactant will be consumed, and so the concentration will go down. But is this zeroth order, first order, second order? How are you going to know? Some teachers want you to make a graph and graph A versus time, they want you to make another graph of ln A versus time, and they want you to make a graph of 1 over A versus time, and then just see which one is linear. Boy, is that way too much work. Instead, I want you to just make yourself two new columns, ln A and 1 over A. Now, in ln A, I just want you to take the ln of whatever's in your reactant concentration column. For me, I'm going to take the ln of 5. Turns out to be 1.609. Check. I'll take the ln of 4.44. 1.491. And I'll just do this for all of the other concentrations that I have. Oh, I get 1.366. I get 1.241. I get 1.118. And then in the second column, I want you to do 1 divided by whatever's in the reactant concentration column. In this case, 1 divided by 5. 1 divided by 5 is 0 0.02. No, sorry, 0 0.200. See? 1 divided by 4.44 turns out to be. 0 0.225, 1 divided by 3.92, turns out to be this, 1 divided by 0 0.28, no, 1 divided by 3.46, 0 0.289, 1 divided by 3.06, 0 0.327. Okay, did you get these numbers as you did your calculation? You should. Now here's the trick part. What I want you to do is do first differences, if you remember your, uh, your grade 9 math. Four, or 5 minus 4.44, 5 minus 4.44, 0 0.56. 4.44 minus 3.92 gives me 0 0.52. And I want you to do these first differences for every single pair. 3.92 minus 3.46 gives 0 0.46. This is 0.4. This minus this gives me 0.118. This minus this, 0 0.125, 0 0.125. 0 0.123, 0 0.025, 0 0.03, 0 0.034, 0 0.038. All right, I've done my first differences. Here's the trick. If the first differences for actual reactant concentration are pretty much constant, it would have been zeroth order. It would be a zero order reaction. Unfortunately, 0 0.56, 0 0.52, 0 0.46, 0 0.4, that's going down pretty steadily. So it's not zeroth order. If 1 over A, the first differences were constant, it would have been second order. Unfortunately, 0 0.025, 0 0.03, 0 0.034, 0 0.038. It's increasing steadily. So, it's not second order. If ln A and those first differences are constant, which they are, 0 0.118, 0 0.125, 0 0.125 0 again, 0 0.123, it's kind of bouncing around within a pretty small range of 0 0.007. Then you know that it's first order. And knowing that it's first order, you can use that information to get the rate constant, given this data, 
and a whole bunch of other things about the reaction. So, give me two columns, ln a and 1 over a. Find me the first differences. Whichever ones are linear, bam, it's that order. 0, 1, or 2. Best of luck.